Hey all and welcome back for another round of Hellfire Comms, Patreon TV Comms. Pretty important batch today because we are going to be finishing off the last three episodes of Dower Man Crybaby, 8 to 10. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Sometimes I just fall into an accent and I can't get out of it. Like a fat lad falling into a manhole that's been left uncovered and whatnot. I don't know where I'm going with this, but uh, Volk, are you ready to finish off this mind trip of a series? Yeah, I'm ready. I've been looking forward to this ever since we got finished with the last batch, so I'm very Good. excited to see where this concludes. Alright guys, if you need help syncing our audio to your copy of the media, which we can't provide, obviously, check the video description. There's also unique metadata in there to help you find each individual video better online. Here we go, episode 8 of Devilman Crybaby in 3, 2, 1. So last time we were left with a pretty big cliffhanger where there was this sort of nuke going off, like, worldwide. Like, I think the, the demons or the devils were trying to launch their own attack, but got assaulted first. I'm not really sure what that could mean. We have a war basically on three fronts at the moment. We have humanity, which is being eradicated to make way for the demons, who Rio seems to have had a hand in uh, getting out there in order to, I don't know, I guess they just want to wipe out humanity and prove who's stronger. And then you have the likes of Akira and his uh, new friends, who are the Devil Men, or Devil Mans, as it were. And they're kind of trying to uh, stop the demons from going too far out of control, protecting humanity, even though they are the ones who are themselves being hunted, which is creating a very, very interesting triangle. And in the very last part, we had a bit of a confrontation between Akira and and Rio, and ever since the last batch of episodes came about, I've had some thoughts as to what exactly could be happening here, and I have two possibilities as to what could be going on. Rio is actually from heaven, and is trying to pit the forces of hell against the humans and the devil men in order to have them wipe each other out so that, I guess, heaven or the celestials can start over again. My second theory is that Rio is actually Satan himself and is literally just trying to take over the planet. Hmm. All good possibilities, and I can see the logic behind each choice, but uh, I guess we'll just have to let the evidence speak for itself here. Not long now, guys. It's time for the uh, end game to begin. I'm aiming more towards the latter theory, just because there was that whole uh, Rio being on the building of floor 666 and what have you, and oh, having yeah. a Bible and what have you. So maybe it could be more the latter than the former, though the former would be a very interesting twist. Oh god, dude, if your face scrunches up anymore, it's literally gonna cave into itself. So it's causing like, um, basically like an EMP blast and whatnot. Oh, Rio, what, what's the matter? Your perfect plan not going s as smoothly as you'd like? How about you insert this foot up your ass? Will that help your plan? <laughs> I'd like that, but it won't really advance my plan none. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Posted on fucking Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> this is just basically all a big ploy for Rio to have, like, the most popular Twitter account. <laughs> Why did I? I wanted dank YouTube footage, yo! <laughs> yeah, basically. Would YouTube even allow this sort of thing? It would fall under gore, wouldn't it? Ah, so Rio specifically tried to coax Amon into Akira. I mean, we can't... We kind of already knew that, it was a little bit obvious, but hey, <laughs> uh, as long as he gets his comeuppance, I don't really care. I'm not the biggest fan of Rio, I'm going to be honest with you. He's a bit weird, although I get the feeling this is going to be his chance for like the big character turnaround, as it were. But yeah, I agree, he's a bit of an ass, he wears coats that are way too big for him. <laughs> <laughs> this is my dad's coach, thank you. I know, for someone who deals with just like murder discos and things like that. I'm not sure if wearing white is quite the best way to go, but then again, he probably has like thousands of the things. He doesn't have to worry about washing a single one. Huh. What's it with anime shows recently in little shanty towns? Uh, <laughs> at least the ones we're covering. Yeah, you guys need to leave. You need to go. Oh, what's he doing? No more. Were the homeless here when this event was going on? Who knows? Well, if it did, they got a free rave party, so, you know. Oh, blessings. It, <laughs> it, it was hidden, I guess. 
You know, he could have just used a hammer. I'm not sure why he has to use a gun. <laughs> to, like, reveal all this. Eh, well, you were what you have, really. And his little bitch hands weren't going to make short work of that wall, that's for sure. I keep forgetting that he goes back and forth between English and Japanese. <laughs> it's just like call ended. Oh, he's either dead or he's just like, dude, I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> that seems so long ago now. When did we even start this series? Um, probably a good four or five months ago. I mean, we've been fairly consistent in the uh, way that we have been getting them. Oh god, Shibuya's fucked. That guy looks like someone. <laughs> Everyone looks like someone, Volk. Oh god. Jesus. Well, I suppose that's part of the madness. Some people just want to off themselves beforehand. No, that's it. He looks ever so slightly like John Constantine if he hadn't had the blonde hair. Oh, yeah. Are we talking about, um, not the Keanu Reeves one, the DC animated one? Yes, that is correct. Okay. I like Constantine, the live action movie. It was fun. It was okay, but I do really, really like what they did with the animated version. He has just the right amount of snark and just, yeah, I actually do have credentials. That being said, was it Stellan Starsgard as the devil? He was amazing. Ugh. Oh, bit down the there, lady. Oh, right, yeah, the mom took the child because he developed a taste for dog. Mm. Yeah, that that was that was an interesting scene. <laughs> Bitch, I won't hesitate. Oh God! What the hell's going on? Who's gonna start shooting at these guys? Then <laughs> it's just gonna be just a back and forth between people shooting each other. Please, I'm just a dad. This is a horrible silent dream nightmare. Look, I just want to know what happened to my dog, okay? Well, and the wife and the kid. Actually, no, your thing's funnier. <laughs> yeah, because this is implying it's going to be like a John Wick moment. <laughs> no, don't eat the cat as well, God's sake. No, no, I, I won't be able to take it, though. Whites made demons, God's sake. <laughs> You gonna let that cat in or what? We're just kind of staring at him right now. Maybe the cat's a demon and they know it and they're just trying not to let him down. Dude, let me in. I'm a fairy type. No, the cat is actually a demon and yet his cat like instincts still don't know how to process the concept of windows. <laughs> just like a bee, bless. <laughs> yeah, bee demon, just like dunk. Dunk. <laughs> once I get in there, I'm gonna sting you once and but we'll both fucking die. The only difference is the window is actually open on one side and it just isn't getting oh. the idea. <laughs> yeah, I know that all too well. That's why I have to keep my fucking window closed and my fan on 24-7. Alright, low resolution uh, Akira, we have a plan. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, you know, one's a track... Enthusiast, so I suppose you've got to keep in practice and keep in shape, even if the world is ending in front of you. I know, but it just looks like they stuck them in, in like Blender and whatnot. Oh, that's ancient history now. <laughs> uh, look, that was yesterday. Come on, get over it. Yeah, he's only really good as part of the pack, really. Kira's doing the smart thing. I was going to say, don't go out there by yourselves, for God's sake. But uh, thankfully, they know, and he's calling in the squad, or rather his uh, posse. I guess a squad might be a bit too generous. It's okay. It, we'll, we'll pray the demon out of you. Where did you get that motorbike from? Was I just not paying attention? Well, whatever it is, that motorbike's going to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> But little do they know, the bike can't be split three ways and still be there. Like, you have two motorized unicycles, then you just have a guy with a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I have the comfiest part. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. Banger alert. 
the fuck? That's that's a very, very slow way of just, like, slowly trying to kill someone. Just like, yeah, I'll be done in a few days, you know. Just carry on with the demon apocalypse without me for a bit. I'll be here a while. <laughs> Son, you need to stop eating your mother. I can't. She's so tasty. But yeah, he went full demon at long last. You gotta do it, man. Put them both down. Great music on this episode. Great visualization of the obvious conflict right now. Like, he wants so bad just to try and save them somehow, yet part of him knows he can't. <sighs> this is rough, man. Yeah, no kidding. But I don't really have much really to say. I'm just drinking this in. This is so well done. Saving you or the martial law enforcers, man. Maybe they're there for him. Oh my god. Dude! It's too late, man. You got here much too late. Well, I managed to at least, hopefully, save Akiko, although she was halfway to being chewed on, so I'm not so sure. Oh no, he just collected the bodies. Oh my god, you just know Miki's gonna be next. Oh? Oh, demon fight! Hell yeah! I think we needed something like this after the heaviness from earlier. Yeah, just to uh, break the tension, really. <laughs> Honestly, some of these demons look like they were drawn by, like, a five-year-old. Well, that means they're just gonna be, like, fodder and whatnot. <laughs> like, that one on the right there doesn't even look like it's finished! <laughs> Alright, uh, Kira, if you've got, like, a super form in waiting, you're gonna need to activate it now. I don't know, I still think they're saving it for, like, maybe the next episode. Ah, bull spike hands, you're always too reckless. Psycho Jenny is literally just a tribble with a f menacing face on it. Is that Rio? Oh no, I know who Psycho Jenny is. Do you remember like that clown looking woman that was like wandering around with Rio? Sort of, yeah. That's her. Yeah, 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 I see it. <laughs> I like the demons that look like literal shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just can't win with these people. Just like, oh, by that logic, you're still not on our side. Just like, oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I mean, humans can be manipulative little shit, so... Are you seriously on a fucking treasure hunt? Like a McDonald's playset treasure hunt? Oh, Mowgli, what are you doing, dude? Thanks for not subtitling this, by the way.
This is a bit weird. <laughs> is there a secret about the demons? Oh, they made an effigy of him. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is how it starts. Ooh, backstory. Ray lived in the jungle, saw the original Devil Man over here on TV, and thought, yeah, that's the shit I want to do. <laughs> yeah, let's recreate that. <laughs> and then Devil Man Crybaby was made. That's a bit weird, it was in the middle of a flashback. Don't just carpet bomb the place. <laughs> no, that's the perfect time to carpet bomb someone. Oh god, he's the one! Nah, you can have these back. Alright, so is it safe to assume that these aren't demon powers? Okay, maybe that might be. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus, he's turning them into demons. Whether he knows it or not. Or maybe the demons are just looking for him. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Oh, hello. <laughs> Looks up at the ceiling. Oh no, not again! <laughs> I like that's like the only time when she is shoot. Oh, you beat me at track, therefore you must be a demon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was running and defying the laws of physics, but sure, why not? Let's go with it. Christ. I mean, he's already lost his family. I don't know how Miki's going to take this. So is this when they're going to reveal it all, I wonder? Oh, here we go. Fuck, man. Jesus. Yeah, there's a certain thing called tact in these situations. Yeah, well, we found them, for sure. If you excuse me, I'm gonna go scream. That's probably what I would do too. This show does not pull its fucking punches. No, it really fucking doesn't. Then again, I suppose we're reaching climax point, so I suppose it's really going to start turning up the waterworks, no pun intended. And there's Inspector Zenigata from Interpol. I was going to say. Shit's fucked, yo! <laughs> <laughs> See, even in the apocalypse, there's still time for one more Nintendo Direct. <laughs> Jesus Christ, folk, fucking hell. Once again, shit is fucked. Thank you, pass it on. You're gonna die! Oh, you know Rio just spilled the beans. <laughs> oh, okay. Their origins. Oh god, is he gonna pin this on fucking Akira? Oh my god, he's g totally gonna do it, isn't he? This is too happy right now.
You just know they're just thinking, vampires? Pfft, that's a little too far. Yeah, let's drink this in. So he's been killing humans all this time. So just casually recommended we wipe out humanity. Oh no, he sold him out! No! I was sort of right then, yeah. Not direct betrayal, but using him to prove the point and basically saying, Yeah, this guy's a demon, you should probably kill him. <laughs> I can't control it! I look so happy about this! You know, it's kind of easy to forget he was, like, the perfect epitome of a wimpy kid before. Wonderful cinematography, Professor. Thank you. At least he only said be highly suspicious, not kill them on the spot. <laughs> well, Rio, you're acting highly suspicious right now, lad. Yeah, you really is. Alright, uh, let's start with you then, Rio. Wait, what? No, that's not how it- BANG! Wow. That's a good way to start a cliffhanger. Jesus. Okay, I'm just gonna close that down and open up the next one. Whew. Yeah, let's let's do exactly that thing because uh, this is getting intense. I kind of just want to get straight into the next one. <laughs> yeah, that that was a roller coaster. It was a great episode. I don't have much more to say about that. Are you ready for episode nine, mate? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. Episode nine of Devilman Crybaby. In three, two, one. Alrighty. So it's basically see someone different, shoot on sight. <laughs> Just something I want to bring up. The way you said it would sounded like you said Devil May Cry Baby. <laughs> I, I might, might have actually said that. I've, I've confused the two in my brain before. Well, I mean, the acronyms are fairly similar. If you don't count Devil Man as one word, it's DMC. But yeah, this is getting good now. We've uh, finally had Rio throw down the gauntlet on the uh, Japan Y television. You have to bet this will probably broadcast all over the world as well. It, like, it can't not have been. <laughs> I can't get that fucking Nintendo Direct comment out of my head. <laughs> well, they have to. Well, they have to announce the next character in Smash Ultimate somehow. Okay, it's Dante. He's here to get rid of the demons. We have a special cross promotion with Capcom to bring up everyone's morale. Well, I mean, it's not that far off. Like all joking aside. <laughs> Alright, so what do you think is going to happen this time, now that Akira's identity has been exposed? Roaring rampage of revenge against Ryo. Oh yeah, but he may have to kill a great many of his own friends, potentially, before he gets off himself. Well, I'm willing to let that happen, so long as it's entertaining.
Yeah, I still don't feel good about Miki's chances though. She's she, she's brown bread. I could. I'm ninety nine percent certain. I want to know who that angel is at the end. Though is that Miki? Maybe it could be Rio. Yeah, like the hair's not long enough. All right, there we go. Just catches the bullet between his fingers. I guess maybe you just need to let out some frustration. Jeez. Okay, this time it won't miss. Uh-oh. Just explain that you're devil men. I can't trust a man with hands as large as yours, I'm sorry. But I could pleasure you in 50 different ways at once. Devil man for the last time. There is a key difference here. Oh. Go on, Mickey, break this up. Yeah, he's empathetic. That's a good giveaway there. Yeah, you might be a demon, but you're still you at the end of the day. Devils do cry. Sometimes a lot. Sometimes it leads into a righteous banger of a track. Mm, absolutely. I mean, I know got this gun. I kind of want to still use it. It's like, damn, I just bought new ammo and everything. Oh dear. Here come the fuzz. Gags is for life, homie. <laughs> you don't pop a cap in your homie, yo. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Devil, whatever. Doesn't even matter at this point. They're gonna shoot whatever. Oh yeah, this is where it's gonna be happening, isn't it? They're all gonna get shot down. Akira's gonna escape. <laughs> Look at him go! Wee! It's like a kite caught in an updraft. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh god, I can't control it. <laughs> Oh god, thanks, you've just ruined the last two episodes for me. That's what I say, literally after finishing a stream. Go to hell, you mortals. That is, that's not like the best advertisement for a holiday destination anyway. Just picture it on the TV. Go to hell, you mortals, and be wowed by our scenic destinations. Visit the Seventh Circle. <laughs> So this is all part of Rio's plan. He controls the media. Devils control... Oh, no. Is he in deep cover, do you think? Maybe so. But yeah, Rio's obviously bringing Akira back for a, for a reason. I mean, he has proven himself to be the most powerful, perhaps, of the devil men. So maybe he's just looking to get rid of him now that he's outlived his service or purpose? Throw rocks at him! We can take this guy! I think I had a gun in there, even that was somebody's really, really good at throwing. He must be a demon! Jesus, stop that! This is really annoying! Yeah, they've just been killing regular people for no reason. When it's obvious the demons would have come out at that point. This god is for you. I call her Lucy. Look after her. Take my peace. <laughs> it's a cyanide capsule. <laughs> 
It reminds me of that one future episode, future armor episode, where uh, Bender is um, taking over the role of Santa, and the mum is to the kids like, "Quick, kids, take your cyanide pills so you won't suffer." <laughs> oh God, I remember that. That was actually a pretty decent episode too. That was a great episode. A decent Futurama episode is a bit of a uh, nonsensical statement, because they're all at least decent. Eh, uh, debatable, but uh, we're watching this now. You are clearly reusing animation, come on. I'll kill you for killing humans! And breath as fresh as a summer ham. Well, that's what happens when a government body instills paranoia and theory fear, and then your best friend is the person who is instilling that, and probably started this whole shebang in the first place. Devil's Cry? Whoa! Oh god, now they're laughing at him, that's, that's not good. At least there's one kid who's actually stopping to think about it. You would have been killed ten times already if he wanted you dead. <laughs> if only that guy had better aim, he might have actually been able to do it. This might be my last Instagram post. Looking fabulous. Here is a picture of my dinner. <sighs> yeah, we gotta talk about the devils first, though. Ah, uh, Mickey's, uh... Ah, uh, this is great. Good old Mickey, stepping up for a man. <laughs> a D-man, as it were. <laughs> hey. That cat has not been fed in two episodes. I'm pretty sure there's food in there, it's just not a lot of it. You know, the cat's been dieting for the past two months. Also, he wet himself once, just thought I'd throw that in here, give him a little air of humanity. Oh, so he doesn't really cry for himself. I think Rio's actually there typing as well, which is why you see the occasional bits of English trying to uh, deny all this. I'm not sure if he'll appear again, but... Where are you getting all these rocks from? Did you come prepared? It just makes me wonder what happened to the infrastructure on this place to have this much rubble. <laughs> The amount of people throwing stuff was getting smaller and smaller, though. Oh, no, they're, they're sending death threats to Miki as well. Oh, no. This is a really long Instagram post. This, this is, she's on Twit longer just for this purpose. <laughs> well, I mean, if there was any time to break out the Twit longer, it would be the end of the world. Time for an orgy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get fucked, I guess. Uh, kind of over this now, honestly. Take the stick! No, this is no time to be playing fetch. Give him the stick! Dog, give him the stick! Akira has a really big amount of uh, fortitude, just being able to hold back. Oh, one of them literally posted that he's a devil man too. Oh god, somebody figured out where she lived. Oh no. Good thing there's a car coming. Please, for the love of God, don't start pelting things at that kid, I swear to God. See, it's always the children, the innocent ones, who figure it out first. Or maybe they just think he's Santa. 
So hairy this year, Santa. I know I'm trying something new. No, he's actually Krampus, but they don't care. Je suis on devil man. <laughs> Uh, you got people telling the wife that he's a devil man. Oh, this is so cool, but Miki's so dead at this point. I will hug you. Your abs give me strength. Sometimes you just need a hug from a big buff devil man just to uh, get all the hate out. Yeah, they're dead. It's too late. No, but that I may be critically injured, but I don't think they're dead. I <laughs> like how like there's a three people that were just like, sure, just like okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at images of happier times, are we, Rio? Oh. So, did he really go over to their side? Looks like it, otherwise he wouldn't have just completely skewered Akira. Okay, I think these last few episodes are censors, because there are no tits, but there's plenty of gore. <laughs> Nope. I mean, we did just see, like, the five-year-old drawn breast demon. <laughs> nice. Oh, just ripping him in half from the jawline. Oh, that's so nice. But why don't, what happens when he finds a demon that doesn't have a jawline, though? <laughs> What's he do then? <laughs> I've been truly outmatched. No, my only move is useless! Oh, it's this lad. I kind of feel bad because I've already forgotten his name. Zenon. It's like Zeron or something, or Zenon? Yeah. <laughs> that looked like a Looney Tunes scream. <laughs> Go on, rip him in half. Do it! He has a jawline. We can't take him. You've got big jaws! Let's see what they look like! <laughs> At least they're doing the typical anime, let's just go to an unpopulated place just so we can destroy mountains and shit. <laughs> yeah, there's one like five miles that way. I like how Devil Bad is actually a manga in this as well. It's just like, no, it's no longer a manga, it's a documentary. <laughs> yeah, you gotta take it. Gotta take it all. Well, nice that you're getting us out now. Well, you weren't the best then, were you? Please, it's just a plain white dress. It's not that fashionable. <laughs> I just wear it well. Stupid, pretty, giant green eyes, Bakakoon. Don't mind, love you, really, baby. <laughs> Come here, you. There you go. Oh no. So what happened to the dude in the car? Did he just, like, get killed, or did he just start thinking, hmm, maybe I should run over all these people? Oh, no! No, not the cat! Oh no, you can't just do that. That one was, uh, like a sucker punch to my soul. No kidding. <laughs> He's just holding him all back with a stick. <laughs> oh Jesus, one of them's got a gun. I thought Rio was going to be there for a second then. I was calling it. Or I was just about to, rather. Yeah, you, you guys might want to run. Look, Miko, you got demon powers. Just make use of them and get them the hell out of there. That might escalate things too much, although we are at a tipping point anyway, so... Exactly. I mean, they're in a house. They are pretty much enclosed. They need some fast way to get out. And turning into the demon and just getting the hell out of there is the best option. Oh god, if he loses Miki, he might go full devil. Nope. Really?
Nope. Ah, there we go. Finally. Took it long enough. Come on, climb on my giant spider back. Okay, this is kind of creepy, but sure. Let's ride. I wonder if he's a devil as well. Or if he's just the quiet one who's just always just cool. Oh. The cat was a demon! Holy crap! If this guy goes out now, I feel like he'll have put up a good enough fight. Oh. Jesus. Jesus! Seriously? Just why? That's excessive! <laughs> well, hopefully Miko is uh, good enough to uh, take care of her. That was kind of random. Yeah, it's just like, oh, hey, just randomly looking at bath photos, suddenly just everything explodes. Yeah, that's right, bitch, I'm fresh as fuck. And you are too. Together we are fresh as fuck. Oh, no. Spider legs were enough, Vogue. She's still getting shot in the process. Like, are the bullets actually doing anything? No, oh, yep, they're definitely doing something. They're in a car! I, 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 I'm not very confident. Run, <laughs> I'm not gonna bitch, lie. run! Oh. I die myself! Not even flinching. And there's the young Akira as well, or rather, pre-deviled Akira. Yeah. Things are so much better without that wacky devil run. <laughs> sure are. Well, I guess this is what Miki's been training for. Mm-hmm. Well, kind of, but inadvertently, I guess, is probably the best way to describe it. Must be a really bad time to tread on a pebble or a Lego. <laughs> ah, ooh, yeah! Jesus. Is he going to make it in time? I don't think he is. No. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just weigh the hopelessness of that situation in there. Oh, no. Oh, down the spine as well. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Well, shit. Whatever happens next is entirely on you guys. <laughs> You're fucked up.
It's nice of them to leave the hat on so we know who it is. Well, at least you found a positive in all this. I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> that fucking silent sneak fuck. Yeah, probably best not wave that thing in front of, you know, Akira. I feel like the triumphant music in the background's a bit much. Yeah, I don't think this is triumphant. This is somewhere between that and... Triumphant for the wrong reasons. So we're going to get full Devil Awakening? Ooh. <laughs> Just thinking, probably isn't even going to- oh no, wait, it is cutting to credits, but is there a stinger at the end of this one? Because there is still quite a bit of time left. Well, I accidentally clicked off it, so I guess we'll have to uh, move on to the next episode. Uh, looks like there is, but it's more just like a flashbacky type thing with uh, Akira and Mickey, so you should be okay. Okay, cool. All right, finale time. Yep. Oh, that was a good one as well. So um, let's just get straight on into the finale of Devilman Crybaby, episode ten. In three, two, one. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's about all you can say, really, to be honest with you. These uh, last couple of episodes have been hella heavy, but I suppose it is setting up for this moment here. We are going to get the epic showdown between Akira and Ryo, but what exactly is Ryo hoping to accomplish? I mean, we saw he had the barrier stuff, and obviously he has the demon horde at his beck and call, but... Surely he has a way to look after himself rather than just putting an impenetrable bubble around himself. I don't know, Steven gets on pretty well with it. Yeah, true, but then again, Steven also has other powers. Yeah, like a shield and so on, but um... God, why did Mickey have to die? You know what, I'm honestly not sure, but uh, I suppose it had to happen to just trigger Akira that little bit further, because he's gonna need all the power he can get if he's gonna wipe out all the demons, and uh, even that, I think that's a big ask. Yeah, this is the rapture, is basically what's happening here. Yeah, I mean, considering that Wado, I think his name was, has sort of turned over to the demon side, and uh, Miko is kind of dead now. Well, at least we've got, like, a proper full glimpse at a spider form for a while, though. Sonic and Knuckles, this ain't. Alright. <laughs> if one of the faces was the other way around, it would kind of work. All right, Bob. Let's finish off Devil Man Cry, baby. Yes, let's. I'm looking forward to this. Even though, uh, with all the heaviness, I'm I'm ready for just like this huge epic battle to happen. Wow, an odd sea of tranquility amongst all the chaos. Yeah, these sheep aren't demons, that's for sure. Is this new Asgard? <laughs> I was just gonna say. Ah, uh, yes, Cornwall, where no demons could possibly live. Memories of better times. Look, I'm an angel! Ha 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 Ah, if only I could tell him I was an angel, literally. <laughs> but that's probably not the case at all. Puffins! Hell yeah! They're like slightly smaller penguins crossed between a toucan. Oh, everything's just gone to shit at this point. He'll come to me. I know he will. Yep, here he comes. At least I think that's him. Yep. It be he, alright. Oh, is he carrying her head? Yeah, he is. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, I think that was kind of obvious at this point. He is an angel! Then again, angelic form, it could easily be like Shin Megami Tensei. Yep, ah! yep, it's Satan. Oh, I was right! Although I was kind of right in two accounts. He looks angelic and shit, but he is actually Satan. Yeah, this is like Shin Megami Tensei Satan slash Lucifer that looks slightly angelic in nature, but are still just like, obviously, Lord of Hell and what have you. Well, he was a fallen angel to begin with, wasn't he? The dinosaurs were the first demons, if you really think about it. Was the meteor that eradicated all the dinosaurs a demon as well? <laughs> Everything's a demon. I like the one that just literally looks like a dragon. <laughs> oh yes, this is the whole merging business that we got a glimpse of in uh, episode 5, I believe. It was either episode 5 or episode 4, I forget which one um, Harpy Lady was in. And then God threw a meteor at the goddamn Earth. Yeah, Jesus. Okay, so that's how they prolonged their survival. <laughs> Just casually, yeah, we, we, we were in with Vlad the Impaler, we admit it. I wasn't expecting to get a history lesson in the uh, climactic episode. No, not really. But I suppose it helps to kind of close the gap as to like, where all the demons came from and what have you. That baby was so ugly, all the wildlife in a 10 mile radius just fell down dead. <laughs> it just got cut to ribbons somehow. I don't like this Discovery Channel documentary. Yeah, that's usually the way these uh, hen forms go. I'll take the black pill, which is now a plan. So in other words, this indigenous tribe were Satan worshippers. I guess. How bizarre. Hmm? Again, you've got to stop giving him hearts. <laughs> Look, we have to put, we have to start weaning him towards proper food at some point, okay? <laughs> Look, he will eat hearts and he will like it. Quite an interesting take having Satan kind of be reborn in physical form. Yeah. I always like those kind of stories. Just like, yep, I am reborn from like a celestial deity, but I kind of forgot. But hopefully we'll soon see exactly what was the point where he did remember. You know, for the first person who, like, properly treated him as a friend, he sure did treat Akira like shit. It really, yeah. They're <laughs> just like, dude, Devil Man's rad as fuck. Dude, I want to be a devil. As you do. Some kids are just happy to play Power Rangers. He wants to enslave all of humanity. Couldn't he have just settled for, like, trying to remake for Kaiju or something like that? You know, we have a real Mothra and a real King Ghidorah. Oh, that was God doing that. So far, Akira's probably been the more human out of everybody in this damn set so far. He's the one who fights to live and thrive. He's the most human out of every character. Oh. D -d Does the pearl have something to do with this? Well, I mean, they did say it gives protection, so who knows? Maybe. 
Look, I have breasts now! <laughs> you have a nice rag, but I've got wings, so... Look, I've banged plenty of broads since becoming a demon. Your rack does not impress me. I have no tears left to cry. Oh, that's such a good trope. <laughs> and there's just Jenny. Hey, I'm here too. Consider me God's sword. Look, I've been through this with you before. I'm not going back home. <laughs> I don't care what Mother says. Oh. Okay, that that dealt with okay. Uh, has anyone got a loincloth? I could really do with one right about now. <laughs> oh, cry, baby. It all comes down to this. There's a special kind of epicness that comes with just naming the final episode of your show the title of the show. Yep. So how is this going to go down, do you reckon? I don't know. Nearly everyone is dead. Shit's fucked. Akira's not going to have a normal life after this. Aww. I have to give it to Akira. He did well with what he's got left. I'm not just talking about the head, by the way. I'm also talking about the flowers as well. I have my own army. Who's like the dude that's like five people in one? Just like a demon megazord? <laughs> oh, that's cool. They made me get out of my chair! <laughs> he became the swallowest of all. Well, at least Miki's legacy will live on. Yeah. She's managed to rouse plenty of devil men towards the uh, side of Akira's plight. I'm digging the visualization of this. Yeah, it's really nice. So where's Rio in all this? Is he just like chilling on the moon or something? <laughs> oh no, Jenny evolved. <laughs> no, this is no, this is Jenny's mega evolution. <laughs> No, Jenny still looks the same size. This is one completely different vote. Jesus Christ, Jenny's literally just become you, Bell, the ultimate nightmare. No, there's different people, but which one's Jenny? Is it the furry one or the non furry one? Jenny's the hairy one, you know, the one with the weird face. Well, they're not connected then. They're two separate demons. Ah, right, okay, sorry. You I blind that motherfucker, part. Jesus. I wanted to believe, okay? <laughs> no, you. They're demons. You don't get to believe in Jenny. <laughs> Jenny is far more than just a demon. <laughs> Can we still pin this on the demons? Yay, go Hydra, hell, even. I'm glad the cat's like his familiar though. <laughs> and then Akira's just like, fuck yeah, this cat is giving me all the sickest lore right now. Missiles go now.
No. All you need to do is just look at them. It's just like, no, that's far too weak, mate. <laughs> the world will look at my penis. <laughs> Hello. Oh, so Jenny's the one that turns them into demons. Or oh, jelly, it seems. Well, if we thought shit was fucked before, we clearly <laughs> hadn't seen anything <laughs> oh my yet. God. Yeah, this is not very going going too well for the humans as far as the last stand is concerned. Not particularly. Oh, here come Devil Man. Is he gonna save the last remnants of humanity? Would that make him god if Adam and Eve survive? Huh, who knows? Oh god, he did not last long. <laughs> yeah, he deserved that. Fucking traitor as a bitch. Although to be fair, he probably did it more out of fear. Well that don't matter. <laughs> Don't matter, he's still an asshole. How dare he look out for his own interest. Again with the cat! Jesus Christ! Look, he's not, he's not an angel, okay? An AT field is not gonna help you. <laughs> So is like the last of humanity just basically being rounded up in like an underground base or something? I guess so. Damn, get fucked, Jenny. Well, Jenny's finally dead. Shades of the finale of um, Transformers Devastation. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, dude, the demons are merging with him. <laughs> this makes my arm become the big arm. <laughs> this is my fapping hand. This is what my devil powers have blessed me with. Man, there's action all over the damn place in this. No. Yeah. No, I choose not to take it. Humans work together, but not Rio, I guess. They seriously take it, it's getting annoying. Quick, I need legs! Yeah! So his army's just basically rebuilding him when he gets her. Yeah, it would seem that way. I mean, I think as far as demons go, they're not exactly strong enough to defeat this guy, but they believe in Akira. Dead. 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 Am I in heaven right now? Dead. Dead. I don't know who the fuck that guy is. Oh no, wait, that's Akira's dad. Yep. <laughs> Never mind, I know exactly who that guy is then. <laughs> no, we've been turned to the board game pieces! <laughs> oh no! You have to fight and punch harder than ever! You must give him the stick! <laughs> or thrust it down his eye socket! <laughs> Take the fucking stick! <laughs> Well, we weren't using that mood anyway. It's like, oh god, I have no clothes, this is way worse than I could possibly imagine! Oh god, if Rhea just vaporizes Akira's bottom half again, it's just like, ah oh, crap, there's no more legs! 
Right, where's the giant head and body in the distance? I know, I know my anime. Wait, is Akira dead, or is he just chilling? Oh. Uh. No, that's that's just us two demons fucking on the moon. It's fine. What? It's just like, no, don't worry about it. Okay, I'll tell you in like ten years' time. Are they, are they gonna die side by side? I don't know, Rio's still talking. So, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, if I'm if I'm guessing correctly, Akira's just dead, and Rio just, like, is in denial about it. Either that, or Akira's just suddenly gonna go, Wait, I'm awake, what the hell just happened? No, it's fine. These guys chill with every race. <laughs> I'm more amazed that Rio just has a penknife handy of all situations. <laughs> Gonna be a bit sweet ending, isn't it, Volk? Yep. It's all leading up to it. He's crying his tears. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kira's definitely dead. Jesus. It's like, don't talk to me. You removed my dick. Oh, there they are. This is not the ending I was expecting, in all honesty. No. Well, time to reset things again. Uh, is that actually how this is going to go down? Because it's just like, yeah, I'll give you a friend back, just stop blubbering. Yeah, you little bitch. No wonder you got cast out of heaven in the first place. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, it just literally ends. Holy crap. I'm going to skip ahead just to see if there's anything uh, at the end. Oh, there's a little bit. There's a little bit. It just says the end, with the earth being reformed and whatnot. Yep. So I guess things did get reset. Oof. Wow. <laughs> that that set of episodes, man. Holy damn. They they went out of the. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think this series was perfect. 
Like, I think it was a little bit too goofy in some areas for its own good, and maybe it would have been better playing it straight. Yeah, I agree. And it's something that I can't really explain, so feel free to just brush off these criticisms, but um, I enjoyed that for what it was, but it felt like it should have been something a little bit more, especially in the early episodes. I felt it was a bit too much of a slow burn for what is a ten-episode series, but those last three, man... They left a good impression. That was a strong series finale. What did you think, mate? I'm more or less in the same boat as you. I don't think I feel as harshly towards some of the earlier episodes. They did give me a few laughs, and there were some interesting parts in there, especially with the callbacks to the OVA. So, from my perspective, at the very least, I felt like the earlier episodes were perhaps a lot stronger for me, as it were for you, seeing as you had basically no exposure to the OVA or anything like that. So, no, no. I had that to go off that made the earlier episodes, for me especially, just that much better. But yeah, that ending, whoa. I wasn't expecting any of that to happen. Like, I kind of did expect that Miki was probably going to die, and obviously that Rhea was going to be either a Celestial or literally be Satan, but turns out it was kind of a weird mishmash of the two. And the fight towards the end was good, there was action going on everywhere. The last stand of humanity, that was a nice touch as well. With having the humans coming around with their weird umbrellas and offing Jenny. That was pretty damn hype. I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, so good. Emotions, perfectly done. Um, pacing at the start wasn't the best. It took a while for me to get invested. But um, when I was, I was sad that these characters died. And I guess that's all you can say for a, a character-driven show like this. So, yeah, I really enjoyed Delman. Crybaby as a whole. I'd probably give it like a, a low 8 out of 10, which seems to be how people have rated it online and whatnot. My anime list, 8 out of 10. IMDb, 7.6 out of 10. Uh, 88% on Rotten Tomatoes and so on. So, yeah, not quite an A or an S rank, but, uh, well, a low A at the very least. I'm rambling now, but I really enjoyed this, and thank you to Samurai Snake for giving us the opportunity to check out this whole series, mate. We really appreciate it. Indeed, thank you. And to give my own rating, I'd probably give it only 85s as well, but like I said, there's some personal bias coming from that opinion a little bit. Indeed. So guys, yeah, that's um, the end of one of the first full series we've covered. If you guys want to check out your own series, um, you can commission us. Check uh, patreon.com forward slash hellfirecoms. Once Volk and I are caught up with stuff, I will open up new slots, but there are slots available on the higher priced tier. So have a look at that. And we'll see you next time for another round of HFC Patreon TV comms. Bye-bye. See you later.